Hello everybody, Sherman here, Leave a Legacy, episode number 45, Leadership. Leadership is not a title. Leadership is not a salaried role. Leadership is not management. True leaders, some have natural born talents, but almost every leader I've ever run into in my career and really in my life have been built through the crucible of failures, mistakes, obstacles, tough employees, bad employees, typically the firing and hiring of employees um, and um, or volunteer, you know, vo volunteers. And through all those different experiences has come to a leadership position. And the one thing that, the reason why this comes up is because I was talking to one of my advisors today and um, over the last year in engaging with him, have realized that, you know what, he's got this natural uh, talent. At the same time, as we've been talking more, realized that he was in the military, led a, a large team of individuals to accomplish different tasks and goals. And, uh, and probably missions, uh, though he doesn't tell me. And But the unique thing about it is in the career space is that he's drawn to opportunities to lead and develop new people in the organization. And what I found with that is it reminds me of the book, Jim Collins, Good to Great, where he talks about having the right people on the right seats on the bus. So you can identify that you have key people and they have great talents, but have you given them the opportunity to really flourish in the best way possible in the right, in the right areas? And so as I was talking with this, um, this individual, um, it, was, it became very, very um, obvious that he possesses those skill sets. And now we need to be able to identify what role can we put him in in order to fully leverage his potential. I think oftentimes for a leadership, it becomes extremely critical to be able to find that succession plan because who's going to replace you? And those level five leaders that are referenced in the book, Good to Great, those charismatic leaders or those level five leaders that have the ability to really inspire people and rally them around one cause, have the ability to see further like chess moves in a game of what that next evolution should be. And so for yourselves, as you find yourself in a position, whether in your corporate world or in your, in your business and you have employees, you wanna identify for yourselves right now, immediately, is what can you do to develop your leadership skills? Because those leaders are the ones that are gonna get promoted in order to manage more people. And so if you're trying to run that corporate ladder, you need to be able to really get honed in on your leadership skills. At the same time, if you're an entrepreneur, at some point you might hire staff and you wanna make sure that you can put in the systems and the processes, the accountability, the recognition and gratitude to really rally that staff to breathe and bleed and believe in the same cause that you've been about. And so as you can do that as a leader, you're gonna be able to pull out the full maximum potential out of all those people that you so desire. The question that I have for each of you then is, what qualities right now are you working on to develop to become that level five leader? Have a fantastic day, everybody.